This has been in my possession now for about five days. And I've been dying to open it up every single day that I look at it, every single day that I think of work, I'm dying to open up this box. So, today is the day. You probably already know what's in it, seeing as you saw the title. Let's just get unboxing this thing. I really wish I had like one of those flip out knives. I'm really accident prone. And I should just really not do that. Uh, let's go very, very easy with this knife because the last thing I want to do is damage this entire thing. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. You knife. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you to our brand new monitor. Yes, this is our brand new monitor. I know. It's a little bit over excessive, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. I hate styrofoam. Stay. That's just not working. Our new 49 inch LG monitor. What is this thing? And what I'm presuming you get in here is USB-C cable. I don't know what that thing is. Power cable, HDMI, Thunderbolt cable as well. Easy. Easy. Silvery, rose, gold, bronzy. I don't even know what type of color to put on it. It looks more like a rose gold. So I just realized that I, I yeah, I recorded that entire, or I, I thought I recorded that entire segment of me putting it together and I actually didn't. Well done, Dean, well done. Is this too much? Is it really too much? Like, look at the size of this thing. It takes up the entire desk. Okay, let's get into the specs of this thing. So straight off the bat, this LG 49 inch curved ultra wide monitor is extremely impressive to see with your own eyes. It's 47 inches wide, it's 13 inches in height, and it has an IPS display panel, which stands for in-plane switching. And that is basically a type of LCD display panel technology. And IPS panels are really classed as having the best color and viewing angles in comparison to other main display types that are out there right now. So it is pretty damn good with the display panel. It has a resolution of 1520 by 1440 pixels and an sRGB of 99%. Now, if you're looking to know more information about the sRGB, make sure to check in for tomorrow's video because I will be releasing a video on sRGB and what it is and what this monitor can really do with the sRGB. But when I found out that this monitor had 99% of sRGB, I was really blown away it almost sold it for me straight away because color grading and everything is so, so important with video work. And on my laptop, my Lenovo Legion Y520, the color grading just didn't seem to be that great on it. And when I did transfer videos onto other monitors, I did notice a drastic difference in color change. So this monitor having a 99% sRGB was perfect and it was just what I was really looking for. It has an anti-glare matte coating on it. And when the monitor is connected to the stand, it can swivel left and right 15 degrees, as well as up and down a forward tilt of five degrees and a backward tilt of 15 degrees. So whether you're standing or sitting down when you're doing work, you will nearly always get the perfect tilt on whatever you need. The speakers in the monitor themselves are pretty damn good. They have two 10 watt speakers that are really rich in bass frequencies. So you will really get that punch when you are playing any games at all, or if you're watching any movies on it, which is ideal. The stand itself is pretty sleek, which is a massive plus because it doesn't take up too much space on my desk. And on a daily basis, this desk does get pretty cluttered up with SD cards, hard drives, keyboard and mouse controllers. It is perfect for gaming on a PC when your PC can reach a resolution of 5120 by 1440. But one downside that I found was if you're playing on the PlayStation 4 or if you're playing on the Xbox One, they can't reach the resolution qualities that this monitor can reach. So you will end up with black bars on the side, which isn't too much of a downside because even if I was watching something on YouTube, it will always end up like that because we can't actually 
make those videos on YouTube ultra wide for this type of monitor. So that was okay, I didn't mind it too much. Although what you can do is you can have dual monitors. So what I end up doing is I have my laptop on the left hand side and I end up having my PlayStation on the right hand side. So I can fill up the entire ultra wide 49 inch screen with two separate consoles. So I'm definitely still making use of the full ultra wide screen itself, which is a massive plus. And even if I'm gaming with somebody else, it's very, very handy because I can take one side of the monitor and the other person can take the other side of the monitor. It's very handy if you're in the same room, you don't necessarily want to play split screen, but we can both play online and we can both take up half of the monitor each. One of the slight downsides to this monitor is its refresh rate, its vertical frequency. It currently has a refresh rate of 60 hertz and if you don't know what a refresh rate is, it's basically how often the screen is refreshed per second. So this monitor actually refreshes at 60 hertz, whereas you will have other monitors which will refresh at about 140 or 144 hertz. So on that side it is slacking a little bit, but I don't notice much of a difference at all. If I'm going to be honest, this monitor is pretty damn sick in general. It's really living up to its price tag and everything that you really need to know and want from a monitor. Its current retail price is about 1,200 euro, but if you do get it delivered from a foreign country, then you will obviously have packaging deliveries and even some customs fee charges on it as well. I did end up getting a customs charge of 180 euro, so it wasn't too bad overall, but on top of the price tag of the actual monitor itself, you don't necessarily want to be paying too much extra. So after two days of using this monitor, I am extremely impressed by the quality, the image it produces, and the functionality of this overall monitor, even for the price of it. It's extremely cheap for what's out on the market now. For a 49 inch ultra wide monitor, when you need to have multiple displays open at a time, when you're working at a monitor like this for hours on end, I don't feel like my eyes are strained anymore. I find my workflow is a lot easier and faster to manage, and I'm not squinting down at a tiny little laptop screen anymore. So this is really worth the bucks. It's really worth 1,200 euro and even any of the custom charges that you get on top of it aren't too much as well. So definitely do consider getting this monitor if you are looking for one at the moment for an easier workflow. So that's it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. LG do sponsor me if you do see this. I would really much appreciate that. I love this monitor. I'm gonna be stuck on this for hours upon hours every single day. It's much better than my little 17 inch laptop, which I've spent the last year squinting at for hours on upon hours at a time. So if you liked the video guys, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit that bell for future videos so you get notified as to when I upload. And follow me on Instagram as well because I will be going traveling and I will have some amazing pictures up on my Instagram page in the coming few weeks. Until next time guys, I will catch you later on. I'm gonna dig into this monitor and start editing up this video. Bye bye.